بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله. Uh, we continue chapter uh, six electrical systems. Uh, let's start with this example. In this is example we have a single loop. Okay, and uh, he said. Um, He said in this system, the input is uh, this voltage. And by the way, this is variable voltage changing, not a, a battery. Okay. Okay. It's a function. Okay. Input is En, he said. And the output E out and he defined what is the output the E out is the voltage across the capacitor he said this is my output voltage okay the voltage across the capacitor he said this is my output find the transfer function so how are we gonna do this first you need to derive the equation of motion what's the equation of motion of this system or this loop Okay, you're going to assume a current, counterclockwise, uh, you define it I, and then you start with your input, the En, the voltage, plus, because it's active element, minus the voltage across the inductor, LDI DT, minus the voltage across the resistor, RI, minus the voltage across the capacitor, minus 1 over C, integral I DT equal to 0, and this is equation of motion, let's call it number 1. Okay. Now, how many, we have En here, and we have the current, uh, so the current, yes, these are the two variables, or the two functions. We need one more function defining E out, in order to find the transfer function, we need to define what's E out. So, he defined E out as the voltage across the capacitor, 1 over C integral. So, this is the second equation we're going to use. All right. All right. Now, how are we going to find the transfer function? We need to take Laplace transform. Assuming zero initial conditions. So take the Laplace transform of the equation number one. Okay, from one. And the from two, this is the Laplace transform, assuming zero initial conditions. Okay. All right. This is a reminder how to find the Laplace transform of an integral. Integral is one over s. One over s. Okay. What's the Laplace transform of an integral? What is the integral, this one? 1 over s, okay? 1 over s, assuming zero initial conditions, so you can cancel this part. Okay, so integral, 1 over s. Okay, i, capital I. All right, likewise here. 1 over s, i, capital I. And this is constant. By the way, c is a constant, r is a constant. So how many equations we have here? We have how many equations? We have... Uh, Two equations let's call this number three and this is number four so just like we did in mechanical systems and chapter four we're gonna do the same thing here we're gonna see how many variables how many functions we have here we have one e n and e out two and the current number three r l c all these are constants okay so we have the three functions or three variables Okay, and we have two equations. Can you solve for E out over E in? Yes. You need what? You need to solve. You need to eliminate. Eliminate. Eliminate which one? I. And then solve for E out over E in. And this is going to be your transfer function. If you do this, okay, we did this many times in chapter four, so it's it's easy uh, example. All right, now what you need to remember here: what's the order of the system? This is a second order system. Okay, why we need to care much about the um, order of the system? We're going to talk about this inshallah in chapter eight. Okay, because second order system they behave a certain way. Okay, we're going to talk about this, inshallah, when we come to the analysis of uh, the time response of first order and second order systems. Okay, so this is second order system. 
All right. This is an example. Let's go to another example. Uh, before we go to the another example, we need to talk about a concept, a very important and very easy analogous system. What does it mean, analogous system? Analogous system means what? The similarity. Okay, is there similarity between electrical systems and mechanical systems? If you remember at the beginning of the semester, we said that uh, all dynamic systems, they may look different from outside, but once you model them, you will see it's either first order or second order system, right? And they will be very much the same. Look here, for example, this is the example that we just solved. This is the equation of motion that we just solved. We got it from the previous example. Okay, now instead of the, uh, ch the current, I'm going to use the charge. Okay, if you remember the definition of the charge, the current is equal to the time differential of the charge. Okay, they depend, there is a relationship between them. And I'm going to substitute the charge instead of the current. So this equation will become E, the voltage, minus L, Q double dot minus R, Q dot minus 1 over C, uh, Q equal to 0. Now look, uh, rearrange, rearrange, take all the negative to the other side and leave E on one side. Look, look at both equations. This is the equation of motion of a mechanical system, single mass degree of freedom system with external force, damper and spring. Okay, look at them. Do, they, do you see any similarity or analogy we call them? Yes. The mass is analogous to the inductance. The capacity, the um, uh, uh, damping coefficient is analogous to the resistance in the electrical system. The spring or stiffness is analogous to one over the capacitance. The external force is analogous to the uh, voltage, to the voltage, okay? So how this is useful, I'll tell you how it's useful. Now, if you solve this problem before in mechanical system, if you solve it in MATLAB, for example, if you solve it in MATLAB, and you want to solve a, a problem, a, a single loop electrical system, so you don't have to rebuild the model or uh, make a, a new model again. All you have to do is just plug in the analogy numbers instead of mass, you use inductance and so on, and run the solution. It will be, it will be the correct solution for a new, your uh, new model. That's all. Okay, that's how useful is the analogy. I'm going to stop here, and then in the next video, we will solve a, uh, another example for the uh, transfer function.